Hey guys, so once again welcome to my channel and in the previous session we have seen how to implement a DHCP server that is we have successfully implemented the common DHCP server over two different LAN networks right so in this session we are going to implement a new concept called a domain name system that is DNS so as we guys already know what is a DN what DNS does it uh, it will translate the IP address say 192.168.25.1 will be translated to some domain name say www.google.com or www.yahoo.com whatever it is so the main function of DNS is to translate the IP address to some domain name so let me show one example uh, say I'm having a google www.google.com so this is one domain name translated by the DNS server okay so behind this uh, domain name there will be there will definitely be some uh, ip address say 192 or 168 whatever it is so that ip address will be translated to host name for the uh, user convenience uh, if we are going to type the uh, entire ip address now then it will be you know not that much convenient right so for that purpose only we are going to implement one concept called dns that is domain name system so let me go ahead to the cisco packet tracer and implement it so as you can guys see this is the uh, network which we implemented in the previous uh, video um, this is, this LAN network is going to have uh, a DHCP server so obviously this will these guys will get the uh, dynamic IP address from this server pool uh, server pool of IP address and for this LAN network we are statically giving the providing the IP address to each and every devices right uh, say 20.12345 and 6 so these three uh, devices are, are the you know web servers uh, say uh, having an IP address of 20.0.0.4, 5 and 6. So in order to access these uh, web servers we will be going to this uh, you know uh, PC uh, and we will be going to the web browser. So from web browser only we will be able to access it. So 20.0.0.4 and type enter as you guys can see we are able to access this web server and it is displaying some html page right so in order to you know access this web server using some domain name we are uh, we have successfully implemented a dns server over here so let me go ahead and you know show you how it is done so for that uh, you need to provide the static ip address for this guy that is this dns server guy so go to ip config and provide the static ip addresses over here and provide the default gateway and just close this one and go to services tab in the services tab as you guys can see we are having one service called dns that is domain name system uh, what you have to do is you have to provide you know give the dns services on and type the name that is say www.gmail.com here and the respective ip address over here that is address address over here and and you know click add say i'm having some name called www.grfs or gmrs dot com and it is having some ip address of say 20.0.0.6 or something like that and press add so as you guys can see the grms.com uh, is added with the ip address of 20.0.0.6 so this is how you will add the you know uh, ip address and the respective domain name over here and we have successfully assigned the uh, domain name and ip addresses uh, so what you have to do is we have to provide this dns server ip address uh, over this uh, uh, devices okay so what i have to do is i in uh in this part in this lan network i have implemented using dhcp server so what i can do is i can go to this, go to this dhcp and i'm having one option of you know entering this DH, dns server so this dns server will be you know uh, distributed among all those devices so that will be really convenient for me to do right now so let me go ahead and do it so 20.0.0.3 and uh press save and you, as you guys can see you will be able to get that uh, you know dns server ip address over here say 20.0.0.3 so this is the ip address of this dns server guys remember to you know give this dns server in every devices in order to access these web server you need to have this dns server ip address over in all the devices so let me go ahead and check it over here also go to ip config as you guys can see a dns server is right here so all is set 
what i have to do is we have to access that web server so go to web browser and try to access it by you know entering some www dot uh, gmail gmail dot com and go and type enter as you guys can see we are successfully you know getting access to that uh, you know uh, twenty dot zero dot zero dot five using a domain name called www dot gmail dot com so it is displaying some web contents or if I want to specifically access some uh, HTML page say gmail dot uh, HTML which is over here we uh, we have configured it over here so go and as you guys can see we have customized to show display as welcome to gmail or if i say or if say i um, i have to display www dot uh, youtube dot com and uh, specifically i want to see my uh, web page of you know youtube dot html and type uh, enter and as you guys can see welcome to youtube so which is over here i'll show you quickly uh, once again see youtube.html uh, just try to edit it as you guys can see the contents of youtube.html is welcome to youtube so this is how guys you can be able to access this web server or web server using some domain name so this dns server what it does is uh, it will translate these ip addresses uh, into some domain name called say www.youtube.com so we have successfully implemented the concept of DHCP uh, I'm sorry DNS over here so hope you guys uh, got the idea behind this uh, DNS server and I hope you guys liked it also so please do stay tuned and uh, subscribe to my channel thank you guys